What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 Zero, and today I am going to show you on how to convert your existing levels or even a new level to use world partition. So let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we are going to do is just create a new level to basically showcase it. Of course this will be valid if you already have an existing level. So for example I'm just going to go here new level. Now something that we need to have in mind is that if you actually create a new level using the open world template you uh, will basically auto have world partition enabled and also if you use the empty one which is really cool but you know a lot of people use the basics to start out uh, creating a new level. So, you know, so imagine I have things in this level, even though I just created the level. So let's go ahead and save it, save current level as. This is going to be a uh, well. So this is basically my world, right? Okay. So now if we go into world settings and we go down and we see world partition setup, right? So I'm here, just go down a bit and you see world partition setup. You see that actually like we cannot do anything it's just this you say it's none we cannot interact with it or whatever this is because the level is not set up to use world partition and we have to do it in a way so to do this we can go up in here into tools and go here and you see world partition convert level so if we click here now we can go ahead and choose the level that we want to convert in my case it will be this one world that i just created so I'm going to say open. Now we have some settings that we can just leave in default. But let me explain you uh, the only one that we you know, need to consider, which is the in place. Basically, this variable uh, will mean that if we take this, it would not create a copy. OK, it will just convert this level into well partition and it will not create a copy. But if we leave it uh, blank like this, it will actually create a copy uh, with an underscore uh, WP at the end of symbolizing world partition. So I recommend if you have a big level and you have worked a lot hard in this, just leaving this blank so it will create a copy. Okay. So yeah, we can just leave everything default. You say okay. Now it shouldn't take a long time, uh, but if of course you have a huge uh, world or level, you know this might take a bit. I mean, if you have blank like me, it will be okay. Now you see uh, conversion completed. We have you know, just a lot of different uh, <laughs> things of the volumetric line map, etc. So we just go here and say, OK. And you see that we have, first of all, a new tab in here saying wall partition with our kind of over map with some grids. And basically our level just disappeared. And you might be like, what just happened? My level is broken. No we have to load these cells so if we go into the wall partition tab that if for some reason they didn't appear you can just go into window wall partition and wall partition editor okay but it, it should appear and what we can do is just select individual uh, tiles and you say load selected cells or we can do a massive one just dragging all over the map then right click and they say load selected cells and if we load them you can see that our map now appears uh, so this is very handy if you are in a huge world uh, map or level, whatever, and you just want to you know work in just an area. So you can just go ahead and uh, unload every cell except the one that you are actually working on. Now we can go ahead and world settings and we go here and say world partition. And we have now a few more options that we didn't have before. For example, enable streaming. That's fundamental, of course. We have to have that enabled. So to show you, I'm just going to create a quick landscape, which is going to be uh, pretty big. Just to show you a bit how, you know, the wall partition will work in here in this case. All right, so I have created my landscape. And now I can go ahead and see this, which is preview grids. So I can just enable this and you will see that I can actually visualize uh, the grids that uh, you know we, like the tiles that there are in the world partition For example if i get close to this one uh, you can see that it's the same one as you know the, the same two lines which are uh, in the uh world partition editor uh, upper view now i don't know why it's a it's a bit buggy you can see uh, you know uh, this has hasn't happened to me in the past you know i don't know what is happening right now 
and I know it isn't from the compiling shaders so I, I don't know what's happening but anyway you can kind of visualize like this uh, but how is it going uh, so we can go ahead and change a lot of settings in this so if we go here into the one time settings grids uh, we can go ahead and just change the cell size etc so for example I go here make it smaller you can see how there's many more uh, cells and you know the size has actually decreased so you can have uh, you know full control also the range so in where basically things will start to appear so you can go ahead and you start creating your walls as you want so to show you I'm just gonna go ahead and create one thing uh, I'm just gonna create a huge um, cube so if I go here so now if I press play, you can see that, you know, I can't see it. This is because it's outside of the, uh, you know, the grid's vision. So if I start to go closer, you can see that now it actually appears. So yeah, you can have full control of this. Now in the editor, I think pretty much everything uh, just shows off. So you can have, a, uh, you know, more, much more control over it. But you know how it now works. You know now how to convert your existing levels or just the new one that you have created and how to change uh, you know, the, style, the size of the uh, cells or tiles and how to load them in, how to unload them in. You just go here and say uh, unload selected cells or whatever. So guys, I'm going to be leaving this show here. If you uh, enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment saying you know what other Unreal Engine 5 throws you want to see in the future. So with all that said, bye bye.